I had a lot of interest when I posted the video on the divider. In fact, I think it's the second most watched video I made. Um, and it got a lot of interest and comments. And there was a great comment by a user on how to improve the design. And I think it's a fantastic idea. And so I went out and I did it. So where, where the first design lacked a little bit was there was a, there was a gap right here between the rod and the roof just on both sides. Not much, but it's a little one. So uh, the comment was to add a second pocket. So what I did is I rebuilt the curtain. It's gonna have two pockets now. So you have a little teeny one in the top, and then you have your major one here, right here where the curtain rod will actually go through it. So the curtain rod will go through here, and then you have one that has nothing in it. So then when you mount it, the curtain rod is right here, and you have this extra fabric at the top, and all you do is just give it a quick little tuck across the top and the top's perfect and that solves that problem now on the edges you can still do what we did before is you pull back pull back the edge here and tuck some of the material in down that way then you won't have any problem there so i'll show you how to make that so i've dug out a tripod to help keep you guys from not getting so dizzy and I'm going to try this. Uh, you'll have to bear with me. It's the first time I've done it this way. It's, it's a little awkward. So, so we're going to pretend like this is our material. And this will be the top of the curtain. I did go ahead and go to a foam and fabric store and did a little better research on fabric. Um, what I found is I went in there and asked the lady, told her what I was doing, and she didn't act at all surprised. And she said they can't even keep in stock black light blocking material. So whenever people are popular, people are doing stuff with this. So what I did find is this is uh, like a, a, a fake suede. It's a polyester material, but it's uh, made to look like suede on one side. And um, it's very lightweight and it doesn't have that the vinyl in it. So it's easier to work with. And I was worried about it not being light blocking and she said, oh, I can tell you how to do that. So she says, take the material, put it over your face and look up at the ceiling at the fluorescent lights. And if you can't see the light, then it's light blocking. And actually I did that and it was very effective. So I put it over my face and looked up the light and this checked out just fine. So I knew it'd be good. And I even checked it out last night. So I'm gonna show you how to make that double pocket again. No, no sewing, very little cost. So what I have here is I have just a piece of the curtain rod that I have left over and I'll post a link to the video where I made the rod and the other um, curtain. So this just happens to be a really good size to make the top pocket. I'm using a straight edge here. I'm using some masking tape just so I can have a contrasting way to, to mark a line. I've got Gorilla Glue Sticks. And I don't to mention, I had the little glue gun and it was just a joke. It just wouldn't heat up, the sticks would fall out. And so I went ahead and invested in a real high temp, good glue gun and with the big glue sticks and it lasts a lot longer. So I'm very happy with that. Okay, so the first thing I found is four inches of overlap is a great place to start. So what I did is I folded this over all across the whole piece and I measured off four inches right there so four inches is right here so that's my total overlap so there'll be a, a bead of uh, glue right here for the top pocket and then a bead, bead right here for the bottom pocket so what I did was I measured off four inches on both all the way down at several spots and then I took my masking tape and again, just anything that'll stick that's got a contrast and I just put it here as a guide because this will shift around as you work with it and you can, you can space these out a lot more. It doesn't have to be perfect. So that gives me a guide with what I'm working at. So we wanna glue the first pocket. So I put this in like this, and this is just a scrap I had left over. Plus I have the whole other rod because I bought two and only ended up needing the one. Push it all the way to the top like this. And then take your glue gun and with one, and you're gonna flip it back here just enough so you can see the rod. And now you're gonna put a bead of glue down here just below the rod. If it touches the rod, it's no big deal. It doesn't really stick to the aluminum. So let's see if I can do this where you can see it. So I'm gonna take it and just lay down a bead just under, just under that. 
and then I'm going to flip it over, line it back up with my tape, and just press the glue in like that. Run it a few times. Go ahead and let that cool for a little bit before you start working the next sections because otherwise you're going to undo the glue. And then once it's there, I kind of move this a little bit to make sure it's not glued in. So I would work for a couple feet that way and then I'd come back and I'll do the second side and just work my way down. So now that takes care of your first pocket. You can see. So we don't need this anymore. So now we're going to do the second pocket. So what I did was I laid this straight across my straight edge. And then I flipped this back because I put the tapes spread quite far apart. So now again, I'm going to do a bead of glue, but we're going to do it up. Make sure you do it a, a little bit above where you're going because you don't want it oozing out the edge. So I'm going to put a bead right here, just above the tape and the straight edge. Okay, and then flop this over, make sure it lines up with the top of the tape, rub it, let it set, you can take your tape off, and that's it, that's how easy it is. And again, you're going to use an extra, extra wide piece, I use three yards, so nine feet of, of width. And I do have a lot of extra, but what I did wrong last time is I was too quick to size down the curtain instead of playing with it for a while because I cut off too much of the edges. So this time I've left a lot of extra on the edges so that I can play with it. And I'll show you why later what I came up with that works nice having that extra room. So it's done. So nothing goes in the top pocket. That's going to bunch up and that's going to hide the gap. And then we have our second, we'll actually put our rod. We'll actually go through the lower pocket. Like this. So it'll hang like that. There's the top one. And then when it's bunched up, looks like that. So you have all this extra to fill in any gaps. So to th thread this thing back on, and if you did it like I did, all you need to do is cut these zip ties right here and then just thread the old one off, thread the new one on. Now you can see how much extra I have. So I pulled it tight across here and I have a bunch of extra over here. And I have a bunch of extra over here, and I'll show you why. Maybe where you don't really necessarily need to be that stealthy like a Walmart. So I actually put the curtain on the other side of the seats, which even makes it bigger back here. But it also takes extra material, so that's when I had cut off the sides. I didn't have quite enough to go all the way down. So now I've got it on the front of the seats. I've got it tucked in on the edge here, and then I've got enough to go all the way to the floor. Um, and as I go, I'll cut off a little bit more on the ends. So then when I go to store it, when I go to store it over here, it bunches up now to about this big when I store it. And if I cut, I think I'll take a little bit of material off this side. Um, it'll bunch up even more and it stores a little more tidier and works great. And here I have my, I have, um, my Velcros where I could wrap it around and it'll store right over here. And then if you watch the video I put on climate control, I'll show you what you'll add to there. So now I've got my fan installed in my wind tunnel. And I have some nice ventilated air coming from the front of the cabin where the windows are cracked. So I hope you like this update and you found it helpful. And thanks for viewer input. I love learning things from people. And I enjoy trying new things. And if you see something that I can do better, let me know. If it doesn't cost a lot of money, I'll give it a go. So thanks for watching.